in many cynodonts of the Middle and Late Triassic, uh, additional characteristics evolved which made them even more mammalian. This included primarily uh, a new jaw joint, so that the dentary squamosal jaw joint, that which mammals use, existed, sometimes accompanied by the more primitive uh, quadrate articular joint of reptiles, and sometimes the dentary squamosal jo joint was the major jaw joint. The atlas axis complex uh, of the first two vertebrae, modifications of the basal cranium, a reduction of the coracoid bones of the shoulder, modifications of the pelvis to make it essentially mammalian. These and other features made uh, the cynodonts of the middle Triassic even more mammalian than those of the early Triassic. The trithelodontids and the trithylodontids were small advanced cynodonts of the middle and late Triassic periods, some of which even survived into the end of the Jurassic period, and as such were the oldest surviving uh, therapsid reptiles. Uh, they are considered to be very close uh, to the mammalian ancestors, although they are not directly ancestral to mammals. They are very mammal-like in many of their features, including the loss of the postorbital and prefrontal bones, uh, causing them to lose the postorbital bar, which separates the orbit from uh, the temporal opening for jaw muscles. Other advanced mammalian features include modifications of the brain case, the periodic bone, modifications of the squamosal region of the skull, the infraorbital canal system, the absence of the internarial bar uh, in cynodonts, the presence of multi-rooted post-canine teeth, and multiple modifications of the postcranial skeleton.